was a total blur, but I think they've done it. See, that's a tiny baby. Yeah. That's a little guy. Yeah. I could feel the adrenaline of the chase and their incredible determination. The death grip is relentless. It's like he's... He's frozen there. Yeah, he's just making sure. He wants to make sure the little guy's dead. It probably is by now, but he's gonna hang on for a good time. And he, he likes that. Yeah, and it's he's also upside kind of yeah, like he's... Just, he's digging it. Yep. <laughs> he's just digging it. Wow. He looks almost intoxicated. Can take it, it can take an animal quite a while to die of suffocation. So that's they hang on, they make sure they have to make sure. So they hang on for a good five minutes or so. Wow, that's so amazing. Yeah. He catches the throat and one of the, his hands catches his mouth and pushes back, and he's got no chance to, to defend himself. Yeah, but he's because he is playing with it now. Yeah, just excited. He's just playing. Yeah, it's just he's just like that cat and mouse thing. Really? Look how fast they eat. They just yeah. wolf it down. Yeah. Because, yeah. you know, I mean, look, they're out in the open here. I mean, the lion can just run in here. Yeah. They don't know what's going to happen. So they're just going to wolf it down. Yet, even in their feeding frenzy, there was a strange politeness and elegance that was a sharp contrast to the ferocity of the kill. Can, it's, it's crunchy. It's a crunchy. I never believed it would be possible. We were wallpaper at a giant cheetah banquet. But dinner was quickly over. The cheetahs sensed party crashers, and it wasn't us. They didn't stick around to find out who it was, though. The moment was gone. The spell was broken, but I had a memory that will stick with me forever. This was the climax of my trip, the reason I'd come here. It was my last day. I just wanted to see the brothers one more time, to be alone with them. I'm so happy to see them right before we leave Penda. I'm so happy to come upon them as they're having a, a moment, moment of, of rest so that we can have a moment of Dear Diary. You know, one of the things that's come up that I've been kind of surprised about is, is how invisible the vehicles are to them. And certainly out here in the wild with these cheetahs, we're utterly invisible. We don't count. And I think that to humans, that's unsettling. And we keep encroaching more and more upon them to see if we can make an impact. As soon as you get out of the vehicle, as soon as you, like, open the door and you're t a two-legged thing, you are trouble. You are some, something to contend with. You're something to consider. And I think we want that. We want to be considered worthy. So it's a real easy next step for people to enforce on them the two-legged thing. But I don't want us to go there because it ruins them, because they can't do things like breed. So they die. And, and that's, the, that's the rub, you know? That's, the, that's the, the place that we have to protect, is our desire versus their need. It's a delicate balance being there but not interfering but these South African game parks seem to have gotten it right so homeward bound my time was at an end but it didn't feel over for me then our journey home was diverted 
We'd gotten word from Namibia that Laurie had found a place to release the wild cheetah I'd seen in the holding pen. This was my chance to make some sense of it all, to complete the circle. Are you all right? I'm good. Okay, we're going to stick them right over in here. Right about in here, okay? This way. We want them to see the water. Okay. Yeah? It looks pretty good. Now, Holly, what you're going to do is you're going to end up on top here, lifting this up. Should I get up there now? If you want to, sure. Okay. You'll be fine. It's good and solid, although he can see you. Okay? Just don't do it quite yet. Yeah, oh, no. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm going to wait for my the appropriate time. No, okay. <gasps> it's all right. Oh, boy. When he looked at me, I'd never encountered such a force of life. Such a pure force of life. We're going to want him to turn the other way around. Well, probably once we open up this door, he'll turn he's around. He's going to get the idea. I hope. This was the moment I'd waited for. Okay. And I don't mind saying I was scared. I can't tell you how I felt. The emotions, fear, my fear, happiness, relief. I felt them all at once. It would be hard to explain. It's funny, but I, I had done this thing. I had opened this door and released the cheetah. But he had released something in me. All the bravado of the last two weeks was gone. He had passed back from our world to his. And I was glad. In the last few moments, I had found my reason to be here. And it felt good. Real good.